My name is Eric Fisher. I'm the co-manager of our biology department for a larger company called Experience Co, which includes about four or five different reef products in the Cairns region, including this one here, Reef Magic Cruises. Coral reefs, I guess, uh, get a lot of notoriety and basically how they fare, you know, like they do suffer disturbances and it's often the impression if a reef suffers a major disturbance, whether it's from a cyclone or mass coral bleaching or crown of thorn starfish, that it won't recover from that. Uh, this reef that we're on today, Moore Reef, has suffered three major disturbances since 2000 and that was crown of thorn starfish in 2000, probably saw about 50% coral loss. Uh, that number actually built up quite a bit till you got up to around about 95% coral cover in various habitats. And then in 2011, we had Cyclone Yasi Superstorm, amazing storm, impacted over, over, just over 25% of the Great Barrier Reef. And what Cyclone Yasi did to our little patch of reef here, this nice little bit where our snorkelers mainly see was quite good, fared okay. Uh, the little shallow parts of the reef fared quite well again. But the outside edge of the reef where we do a lot of our certified diving and snorkel safaris was, had really high coral cover, like around about uh, 95%. And Cyclone Yasi actually stripped that whole reef quite bare, we took it down to about 5% coral cover. But saying that, in that time, that reef coral cover on that outside wall is now picked up to around about 65, 70%. So in that short period of time, the mass bleaching events of 2016 and 2017. We were quite lucky, 2016 we had very low mortality, uh, less than a couple of percent. Uh, but in 2017, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum, we had like around about 50% mortality. But we still had 50% of our coral was still alive. Uh, interesting though, that, uh, that wall on the outside of the reef there with all the lot of plate corals uh, coming back since Cyclone Yasi, like all the coral on the reef, it bleached in 2016 and recovered. It also bleached, fully bleached again in 2017, different to other little sections of Moore Reef, that outside edge had really low mortality. All our surveys picked up 6% as the highest. The hardest probably message to try and get across, you don't, also they feel like boom bust cycles, but they're really like kind of fluid in the fact that not every habitat is affected differently. Yeah, like I say, like, like the cyclone might impact the wall different to what a bleaching event does. So you still have coral left over that still does recover. So you, you get this nice patchiness and that's, that's the reason why you probably get this whole mixed messages coming across that the reef is dead and gone. No, the reef is quite good, it's looking cover. You could be looking at two totally different spots on the reef. You could be looking at one spot that looks like ground zero, quite terrible, and another spot that's almost pristine. The coral cover out here at Moore Reef is, is amazingly good. It's very healthy and it's increasing. All our surveys are showing coral, coral percentages are increasing. Mm -hmm.